That was decent. <laughs> yeah, I kind of so, okay. I, I lost my, my character between the, you know. How? Why? I feel like whenever you're not off script, especially, mm -hmm. you don't, you're more thinking about the lines and the, um, what what's you, happening. Yeah. Well, let's, so, first of all, let's start with this. I've been chewing a lot of gum, and so far, there's only one I found to have long lasting flavor that lasts all day or all night. To prove how long the flavor lasts, I'm standing in traffic, risking it all. Now here, you said risking it all, and you put some scribbly line with a blue, meaning that you read risking it all, and it meant something to you. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you conveyed that here? And what is risking it all? Putting your life on the line. Do you feel at any moment no. that your life was on the line? Nor did you feel like you were in traffic. Mm -hmm. So I want you to start off real quick as if you're in traffic dodging cards. Okay. Ready? Yeah. So real quick. When I say action, right? I'm a car and I'm coming this way. I'm another car, I'm coming this way. Okay? okay? I want to see that action. Okay. So take a breath first. Action. Okay, really good. So, if we were on stage and let's say we were doing this for theater, uh -huh. I would say that was good because you use your space, you're a dancer, so mm -hmm. you're good. So with you, some people we have to bring them up. With you, it's gonna sort of be confining you sometimes in your movement. Mm -hmm. So for on camera, you have pretty much like a step forward, step back, step right, step left. So instead of going like, like this all the way, you could still do that motion, but keep your foundation plan. Okay. Now you're still right back here, and then you can even do this, and you're still right back. Right. right. Okay. And it's not saying that you can't move your but feet you at all. You have to stay in, the in that range. Right. right. Cool. All right, here we go. And action. I'll take your breath, there you go. Good. Okay. <laughs> now, we're gonna go two cars. Okay. <laughs> so don't get lost in the trap. Okay. He's dodging for it. Okay, so two cars. I want you to, what type of cars are coming at you? It's uh, um, one of those small, fast cars. And it's, At first? Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to say a big black truck. Cool. I'd like you to be a little bit more specific with the small car, so let's just call it a Prius. Okay. You know what a Prius is? Um, one of those, isn't it one of those little... Yeah. Yeah. And, yep, and they're the um, without gas hybrids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Okay. So... Picture it, you're good in your imagination, so now I want you to try to really like picture what it would be if a car was actually coming at you. Mm. Like you gave me the movement of what the simulation would be, but I want you to try to see like flashing lights coming at you and getting out the way. Close your eyes and think about it real quick. Action. Really good. Now, let's cut the speed in half. So same realism, but now just a little quicker, right? Quick, okay. Just because, I mean, we have lines and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> Action. Bam. Now, what do you think, just by that, you haven't even said anything yet. Uh -huh. If you had Cameron A, 
versus this Cameron, we'll call it Cameron B. Yeah. Who do you think right off the bat is this <laughs> right? right? That's right, you can feel it. You can feel right it. off the bat. Yeah. Like you haven't even opened your mouth yet. And already we're caught into like, oh my God, what's about to happen? Uh -huh. Okay. So that's the type of work that I want you to do in everything. Uh -huh. But you have to be specific and you gotta look for the clues. Yeah. So when it says standing in traffic, you gotta think, okay, well, traffic, then I'm probably not just like standing yeah. here, right? He didn't say I'm standing at a park bench, I'm sitting, you know? Mm -hmm. So these are things that I want you to look for when you're doing your script analysis. Right. If it said, it's cold outside, you know, so it's a winter day, four o'clock in the morning. Uh -huh. Instead of you just coming into the scene like this, you may be a little cold, you know? Now all you're doing is literally revealing what the writer has already put. Mm -hmm. So someone else may say, damn, he's, he's so good with his acting, but you're just being true to the script, okay? That's called actions. All right. None of that with your hand. So if, any, if anything, you could go like this. But you have, you have a very like calm demeanor. Mm -hmm. So if you can be like this, always just be like this. Okay. Calm, cool, collect. Okay. Because a lot of other people can't do that. So they're going to be fidgeting. They're going to be doing this, <laughs> this, this. And then it's gonna make you stand out. Okay. Okay, so now let's break it down a little bit more. So I've been chewing a lot of gum, and so far there's only one I found to have long lasting flavor. What? Who's your character? Myself? No! Oh no! You're no longer Can't any be. of the characters. I'm um, Give them a name, different from yourself. Um, and the reason I'm saying this is, this is this will help you in terms of, let's say if you're doing a role where you want to make someone who's like, he's a geek. Uh -huh. And let's say you're not extremely geek. Uh -huh. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, this character who you're shaping out, it's not you. So you're putting on somebody else. Yes. So you have the freedom to play within that person. Okay. I'm you know what I'm saying? I'm <laughs> What's the name? Marcus. Marcus. Yes. All right. So what is Marcus saying here? That he's been chewing a lot of gum. And this, this gum is the only one that has this long lasting flavor. There's only one! Yeah. One! I've been chewing a lot of gum. How much gum? Like, so a lot means more than two packs. Right. More than three packs. Right. Give us a number. What do you think? 10 to 12 packs. 12 packs? Yeah. How many gums are in each pack? 12. 12? Mm -hmm. So 12 times 12? 144. Good numbers to pick. I really 144, so you've been chewing 144 sticks of gum, and there's only one out of all of that. That's a long list. One. Mm -hmm. That's specific, mm -hmm. so you have to emphasize that. Yes. So even with the script in hand, just knowing that, and knowing that you're in traffic, so I want you to start off in traffic, and then I want you to convey the first line, now understanding that Marcus has been chewing 144 pieces of gum, and only one has had a long lasting flavor. Another thing. So I don't want you, now that you have the paper in hand, to get stiff. Mm -hmm. So paper is just an extension of whatever you're gonna do in your left hand. Okay. If you're ever off book, and you find yourself in a situation where you, Let's say you're 80% off book in like an audition and there's like a loose paper like this where there's notes and you can sort of like fold it. Okay. That'll even give you okay. more freedom to not be making like a Cool. Okay.
and then begin when you're ready. I've been chewing a lot of gum, and so far there's only one I found that has long lasting flavor. That lasts all day and all night. Yeah. Okay. You want to make you go? No, no. Oh. Um. Real quick. That was good. What are you looking at? I was looking at the freeway and the cars coming. Or you mean like? Is that no in in the scene? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was looking. That's what you're looking. At. Okay, good. Let's try to stick with the t dodging from two. And then convey. Um, okay? I don't want you like juggling, playing. While I'm going, while I'm taking the line. Yeah, not be, just. Now, I'm not saying that that's not a choice that you can make, but it's not something that you practice and rehearse. Uh -huh. So, for now, I want you to be able to convey those lines without being distracted by the traffic coming. Okay. So, let's just, in our mind, Marcus dodged these, and now all of a sudden there's a little bit of free time, okay. you know? But that was good. I've been chewing a lot of gum. And so far, there's only one that I found that has long lasting flavor that lasts all day and all night. Okay. Now give me, um, I don't want you doing the same hand and motion, motion for everything. Okay. Now part of that is probably because you're not completely off book. I don't know, I'm gonna give you that. <laughs> but <laughs> um, think of different ways to express yourself. You know, all day, all night, all day, all night, okay. all day, all night, okay. all day, all night. That's what you're doing, all day, all night, all day, all night. So give us some type of different yeah. Yeah. variation. Because you have the ability to do it. And begin when you're ready. I've been chewing gum. A lot of gum. And so far, there's only one that I've found to be effective and long lasting that lasts all day and all night. Okay, what's next? Um, to prove how long the flavor lasts, I'm standing in traffic, risking it all. I, and I won't leave until the flavor ends or I can't chew anymore. Okay. So, this is to prove it all, mm -hmm. I'm standing in traffic, risking it all. And like, let them know, like, you're risking it all. Like, this is your life. Okay. Raise the stakes always. Okay. So, any of these situations, it's always life and death for them. Mm. Always. That's how I want you to approach it. Right. Um, if you're ever doing too much, the casting director can easily right. tell you to bring it down. Yeah. But people don't write just normal stories. Yeah. Like if you're watching movies, it's never just like the normal situation. There's mm. a bank robbery, something's happening, someone's saving someone, they're jumping through windows. Like, right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. This guy, for whatever reason, and see, this is why we have to do the script analysis because it's easy to write all that other stuff that you did, and I'm not saying that you didn't do a good job in your research, but it's being, it's doing the research specific to the text. Right. So it's like, why would Marcus be chewing this gum, and why is he standing in traffic, risking it all? Yeah. And what can I create? What backstory to make that make sense? Yeah. Even if you would have wrote something like, hey, my best friend is getting ready. To, he has a, a crazy illness, uh -huh. right? And I may even get more specific and say cancer, right? Or I could say he's losing his memory. And I found out I'm Marcus. I'm very nerdy. And I, not Marcus. Yes, Marcus. Marcus, I'm very nerdy, and 
I found out that if I could find this long-lasting gum, mm -hmm. that it can actually cure him. Right. But it happened to be stuck in this rock <laughs> in the middle of the freeway. Yes. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, when you're doing this and you're performing, we're not going to know that backstory. We're just going to see you doing all of this. And when you're dodging stuff, it's going to be more real because now you've made the scenario real. Yeah. Even though you're doing a good job because you're, you're physically talented, like you have that ability and you're free in your body. So you're able to quickly be like, okay, I can dodge, but now it's how rooted and real can you make it for Marcus, who's in this scenario. Make sense? Yes. Do you want me to just go from to prove how long? Uh, 